Greetings to you all in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For our meditation this morning, I have entitled the theme as To Impose, for which I have taken a reference from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 19 and 26. 19. And Herodias had a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but she could not. The king was deeply grieved, yet out of regard for his oaths and for the guests, he did not want to refuse her. Once a cat was lying under the tree dreaming, a dog comes along, and he too rests under the tree. The cat seems to be dreaming a lovely dream, and the dog is curious to find out what it is all about. When she wakes, the dog asks her what she dreamed. The cat says, oh, it was a lovely dream. The sky was pouring mice. The dog looks down in scorn and says, you fool, it never rains mice. We also dream, and we always see bones pouring down. And our scriptures also say that it always rains bones. Mice never falls like rain, you stupid cat. If you must dream, dream of bones. We see that for this the dog, bones are meaningful. Why should a dog be dreaming of mice? But for the cat, bones are useless. Never try to impose yourself on anyone else. If someone wants to remain the way he or she is, leave it to them. That is their birthright. Don't disturb, leave them alone. But if you feel that someone has a longing to be transformed and seeks your hands, help them. That is perfectly the way to support and enhance another person. You may have your opinions and outlooks. Similarly, others have their own. Share your views and outlook with people who like to listen to you, but not with people who do not like to listen to you. Your views will be good for your life and you will be benefiting through it like the dog has relevance for the bones. Try to share your views and show the examples from your own life the positive means which will encourage the others to be swayed. Then there is no need to impose your ideas. Examples and one's own life experiences speak deeper than words. The willingness to accept your ideas should naturally come up in others and draw them closer to you. It has to be a natural process. Your life should invite others or attract others to you. Then they are convinced. It goes deep into the inner being and passion for your ideas comes from their hearts. There is no force and no need for enforcement. Let us understand life can be really lived only if you live it naturally. To be is awareness. To exist is not the way of life. The moment you try to impose anything to it, it becomes artificial and you will destroy the naturalness of it. Nobody can impose growth in your life. Growth, I mean physical happens as a natural process. You cannot facilitate growth even if you try to do it through supplements. It is definitely going to be destructive in the future. Anything done out of force is short-lived and it may see its end or fall. Therefore, one should not try to impose anything that others do not want or encouraging or one filled with ulterior motives to impose in subtle or forcible manner. Let them choose what they want and you have a choice to follow yours. Let us facilitate others with needed information and give them all the freedom to them for choosing. There may be persons bearing resemblance to the red text from St. Mark chapter 6 verses 17 to 29 of a mother like Herodias who may use her own daughter Salome to vent out grudge in trying to get their way through a subtle manner of imposing. One should realize that imposing will only lead to utter folly in the end. We may do something with the best of intentions, 
we may consider what we do as being noble and truly human. We may consider what we do as something all should be doing and we may even consider what we do as worthy of a Nobel Prize nomination. We may even think that we are the right and the other is totally wrong. But as others' perception of what we do may be totally different. It is extremely important for us to remember that we live in a society and wherever human beings are involved, it would be apt to realize that imposing will not be fruitful endeavor. I would like to conclude with a quote by a Turkish playwright, Nehmat Murat Ildan. He says, No matter how right or how beautiful your path is, never try to impose your path on others. Remember that flowers by no means pull bees by force to their world. Your path is your poem. If people like your poem, they will fondly join you in your path. Shall we look to God in prayer? Lord our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given to us. Even as we are reminded not to impose upon the lives of others of what we think, but to be led to your working in the lives of each one of us that you have created, O oh Master. We once again thank you for adding this day in our lives. Be with us, guide us and lead us in the path to bring glory to your name. We ask you to be with us. We commit this day once again into thy care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.